Oh my goodness. You guys, happy Tuesday. Um, I am Patty. I'm Carrie. And we are Studio R12 Stencils and we are here to show you DIY painting and have a little bit of fun. Answer your questions live. Ask questions. Anything that you have that you want to know. I'm wearing slippers today, so I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I almost put mine on. So we I live 20 minutes from work. I woke up this morning and there is a dusting coating of snow. We didn't get much snow this year, so it's like yeah. the most we've gotten. Mm -hmm. And then I drive closer to town, and these folks in town, they didn't get nothing. <laughs> so I was like, wait a second. I look like I'm ready for snowmageddon, and yes. Steve's in here in a t-shirt today. <laughs> yeah, the weather patterns are just fun. Um, so today we are going to straighten up a circle. Yes, we have. So... Um, Patty is a recovering workaholic. Uh, <laughs> um, I think that might actually be a true statement. <laughs> that is a true statement. Yeah. And a lot of times she'll, she'll spend her time looking for all the things that we can do with yeah, yeah, our business yeah. and our company and, and found some videos recently on round signs and went to bed and woke up with this brainchild of this amazing tool. So we... I think I spent like... Um six hours on a Saturday morning like got up early and then was like I'm not doing anything so I'm gonna watch YouTube videos <laughs> and so I went looking for just inspiration and stuff and um, came across like a, something where it led you what's it called when you go from like a rabbit the, hole. like a rabbit hole yeah of doom and then I'm sketching and I wanted to share this is this wonderful sketch <laughs> of my idea and this is a tool that we have um, uh, made better than the cinnamon roll. Can you get that close? Yeah. So this was the sketch to be like, oh, I text Carrie. I'm like, oh my God, I just invented a thing. And I sent her the picture and she was like, is that a cinnamon roll? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure I'm hungry this morning. <laughs> Always on food. Too funny. So, um, show, you, you got business. Yeah, so I just have, I actually just have a little bit of business today. Okay. Um, for be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are not already, make sure that you're following us on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. We released a funny Instagram reel today. And so we're just adding stuff all over the place on Pinterest. Our Pinterest is crazy with how much stuff yeah. we have on there. Um, but on YouTube, last weekend, we released this amazing tone on tone project that Patty painted. And it's got a little bit of a background. So it, the, the video teaches you how to paint a textured and, and have depth in your projects just by using stencils. And it just turned out really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. If you want to get, you want to see if you can get in close on that texture. Really subtle. <laughs> really subtle. Right over the L. Right there you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, just a fun little something in the background mm -hmm. i just like i can't leave it alone when it comes to backgrounds i love i love backgrounds yes so. and um this weekend i'm not telling you what we're doing um so we we actually we have one in the can that's ready to go however we had something else planned and we're still waiting on some stuff to be sent to us so if it gets here in time and we can get it filmed and edited by Saturday, then, <laughs> no worries. then we'll have that. Otherwise, we have a fun project waiting for you. All right, you guys. How many of you are wearing slippers today like me? It's <laughs> slipper day. Oh, it's actually pie day, which we have circle Yeah, we're stuff. working on pie. I know. This is pretty fun, actually. We can make slices of pie with this tool. Okay, let's get going. Are you done? I'm sorry. I, I am in. I'm done. Um. Yes, so our sale today, I'll share the link. The link for today's sale is the collection for today's live. So there are only five items in it, but they are five must-have items yeah. that you will want, and they are varying in sale price from 9% to 30% off. And once once Patty starts talking, yeah, you'll then, see. then you'll see why everything is on yeah. sale today. So I am so excited. Um, we have painted a number of round porch signs. So when you want to put a line or a band in the middle and make it straight. So what happened when I watched those six hours of videos, 
I ended up in round porch signs accidentally. I wasn't looking for them. Um, and when you, when you are trying to make straight bands, um, one of the people that I was watching on YouTube, she had beautiful art, but she was winging her straight bands. And every now and again, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that, you know, she published that and it was crooked, you know? And so like, I've worked really hard when we've done them here to make straight bands, you know, like really do the thing. And so you can watch some of those old videos and they'll show you the tracing paper with the folding, with the fold, then the fold, then the fold, then undo it, and then trace the lines to get them straight. Okay, now when you're doing a single band, um, it's not as difficult because you can slap a straight line across. If I just take my, my T-square and go across, it's gonna be straight somewhere. Um, I guess it won't be actually. Not necessarily. I'm, I'm lying about that because if you go up at an angle, then it's, no, it's still gonna be straight. I think, yeah, it'll I think be, that's a straight. Yeah. It'll be straight, it just might not be, yeah. it might have a little. Yeah, but it. then you turn your board and yeah. it will be. Yeah, I don't True. know, this is, a, so not science class here today. I just know that if you need to put a couple of bands on things, almost impossible to do them really balanced and do the trick, okay? So, and the lady that was doing the thing um, has definitely not making sure that she was straight, so. Um, I saw this, I thought, I wonder if there was a way to make a tool. So we made, and this is gonna look really weird, so stay with me, this is the tool. I'm okay. gonna have you right behind it. You can put that under, okay. if, if when, you, when you go to set it down, okay. you can put it on there and then they might be able to see it better. So. From the overhead shot. Can you get that, Nick? Okay. So um, anyway, so this is what it, it has polka dots, it has some etched lines, it has, um, the measurements of what your circle will be and then matching measurements on the other side. So if you want to band something that's round, you can band it. If you want to find the middle of it, you can find the middle. If you want to find a segment, we're going to be doing something that's um, an American flag on a round. Um, and so I would need to find this line and this line. That's really hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then it is the trendiest trend of trends right now to do lots of bands on these round signs. So this seemed like such a great idea. And then all of the dots are equal across and across and so that you can decide where you want your band and use the dots to make your mark. And when we were rehanging, one of our signs fell down. Uh, we used um, little bits of, of command strips to hang these just so that they don't waste because it's expensive. And um, if anybody knows a cheaper way or a cheaper brand of command strip, I would be interested in that. Um, anyway, so you could lay this across where you're going to put art and use the little round things, the round holes, to mark straight for yourself as well so that you knew. And then the other thing that you can do is use this tool for marking the backs of your projects to know exactly where you want to have your hanging attachments or mm -hmm. holes that you're going to drill. So it's... It's for making stripes, it's for making bands, it's for making your, um, say you want to make a band around something. And then if you come into something like this, say you wanted to um, have this band of words, say you had a saying that you wanted and you didn't have a stencil for it, so you can get our alphabet stencils. They come in all different sizes and different fonts. Mm -hmm. You can mark your band with your triple threat ghost writer. You can mark your band and then you can take your lettering and you can go around on your, um, on your band that you drew on there. So let's get into some of the deal of it. Um, it also works on square things and I'll show you how that goes in just a minute. And this is going to be, so we made this so that the maximum size that it will fit is an 18 inch circle. That is the largest size round surface that we offer but it also goes down to a four inch, which will fit all of our coasters. Yeah, coasters and um, so it's not just when you're thinking of it, don't think door hanger, that's mm -hmm. the trend. Yeah. But it will do your clocks. It will give you your um, even disbursement for, if you want special lettering on your clocks. Um, a customer in town ordered um, bits and bobs to be placed on the wall, like different sizes. It was really super fun. As a clock, if you had this, you could put
put that on your wall and you'd know where exactly those where numbers and mm -hmm. things would need to go. So it's really, really hard. You saw me with the straight line thing. For this person, we, we were established today that artists shouldn't do math. <laughs> and they probably shouldn't do layouts either. But um, when I was doing clocks, um, big clocks were a big thing 25 years ago. And um, when I was doing all the clocks that I painted, I didn't have any tools to do that with. And so I was doing the tracing paper and trying to get it folded into the right amounts. This would do that work for you. And before we get into it, mm -hmm. I want to ask um, anybody who is watching who has already ordered this, please let us know in the comments because what I think is amazing about our people mm. is that we, we just posted this. this. Yeah. We just shared a random photo of this crazy looking thing with a smidge of a description mm -hmm. in a newsletter this morning. And our amazing people They're trust us yeah. enough yeah, yeah, to yeah. know <laughs> that this is going to be amazing, yeah, this is even amazing. if we weren't able to fully explain it in writing. So. Thank you all for mm -hmm. having that that faith and trust in us that we're we're gonna help you out. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is why we're here. We're here to educate and we're here to make your life easier when you're painting. So I just so that you know that um, that is the fact. That is uh, like our mission is to make painting funner and easier. Okay, so let's get into this thing. So it's got these etched lines which you can't see very well because they're etched, white on white, all that stuff. So you can line up your wood on here with your line. This one, it tells me, is indeed a 15 inch circle. So it measures your circle for you as well. And because this is bigger than most of the surfaces you'll be using this on, um, we made two tape holes so that you can tape in two places so it doesn't slide around. The first thing I noticed, we have gone through the very first iteration of this looked like a Star Wars project. It was <laughs> Yeah. so scary it, it had so many big lines on it it was it was like woo. we got to we got is, to simplify this i think this is what number four something I think this yeah. is version four so you just tape across your lines and then when you do that you'll be taped in two places you've heard me say it a bunch of times and your stencil doesn't go my my board is rotating but um, my stencil doesn't move around okay so then if i want to say have a band um here then I'm just gonna take, and I can mark, and I would skip, I would go every other. We just put them on there so that they would be um, handy. And then maybe I want that, so say I want it to be, so I can see through the little holes. Whoops, there, so say I want it to be about four inches the other way and make it even, that I'm gonna go on, say, this guy, every other. And then you take your, your um, band off or your um, stencil off, your tool. I'm going to get the bigger T-square. And we look for our dots. And we go across. And I'll show you a, kind of a secret, too. So now you have your perfectly straight line. We'll switch it over to the other side. This has got a little bit of texture to this board. And I don't know that I made enough strong lines. Where are you guys? I can't see the ones over there. So take your time. Make sure that you understand your material. Oh, they're there. They were hiding. They were definitely blending. And you can make your line. And now you have straight bands that are perfectly symmetrical. You can do all the things with this. It is incredible. Then what I would do next Actually, what I would do to start is I would paint my board my base color. So if I was doing this guy right here, I would probably stain the whole board. Okay, just get it stained, let it dry. Okay, then I would put my band, I would take my stencil out, I would measure and make sure I knew where I wanted to go with this, and then I would put my band line there. I would tape it and then I would base the green and then use my stencil on top of that. So that is how I would do a color so you're always going to start with a board you don't want to try to tape and something interesting about taping um, is tape stretches so you want to be really careful when you're taping let's get glasses on that you line up the first line don't be all going like stick because like there's an arch to this already you go and you press it down in little increments and then you do that but you wouldn't want to 
paint this and then line up the tape on the other side. You'll get two things from that. You'll get a ridge line and then you'll get um, maybe some not matchy matchy and then that will call out your mistake. So it's better to start with one color of whatever you're gonna base with. Um, in this case, everything was the cream and then I did the bands um, to do that. So, and then we do have banding stencils. We're gonna do some improvements on our banding stencils. So don't buy those yet. You're gonna want them later. Yeah. You would want them now. They work perfect. They, we've had them out for what, nine years. But um, we're going to improve them because of this. Yeah, this and particular when thing. you're thinking about painting, if you're going to do the two different colors, um, you will probably want to do your lighter color mm -hmm. first and then do the dark color because if you do black and you want it white and black if you do black first then have to paint white over it mm -hmm. just be mindful when you're thinking about that that yeah. your lighter color will be what you do your whole surface in and then paint the darker color over yeah so that is so getting them straight getting straight lines that is the most 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 important part i'm going to delete that now i was able to lay this back over the top and once I put my white line and the triple thread, let's talk about that just for a second because if I use a pencil, if I've painted this a light color and um, I use a pencil, number one, pencil won't work on dark, not easily. Um, this does light white, gray, and a roller ball in case you need to trace. So it has everything on board and it has your eraser on the back side, which is the PVC eraser. So. The, um, when you do that, you can make a nice strong line on your paint and it won't smudge. I don't know if you've ever tried to erase pencil from a painted wall, a project, any of that. It, it does a really great job of smudging. And if you have erasers that are the hard erasers, don't even ever try to erase because those only smudge. They don't even do any erasing. So use the PVC, honestly, the click eraser for all things office supply is incredible. I love this thing because it's like, you know, what, six inches of uh, flexible rule, um, eraser. Okay, so now that I've marked this, I can lay this back down. I'm gonna get my head all in the way and I can go find my line. Let's get me on my circle first. There we go. I can find my line and I can, I can see through this stencil material just enough to make it not easy <laughs> there we are and i can reline it up so if i have a need to reline something up i can do that so that's important to know that you can actually see through our stencil material um, this is 7.5 mylar instead of the thicker 10. it also when you use our stencils it doesn't cause that big ridgy stencilness of your painted project and then if you use the swirling i'm looking at this season's greetings and i can't see any ridginess of it a lot of times people that stipple end up with that really groovy ridge around the edge and it's really, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, do we have questions yet? Not yet. Okay. I am adding the tape to today's Oh, that's collection. a good idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, T-squares, absolutely. Um, this is something that we also have a hard time keeping in stock. Um, mm -hmm. For whatever reason, we're looking for a direct vendor because it's just frustrating to, um, to not be able to keep things in stock. Anyway, the other thing that you can do is, say you, if you look at this, these two, one's on a round, one's on a square, okay? And so you can see that while this is a stencil and this is a stencil, they don't look like they came this way or somebody has altered and moved them around. So in order for things to be straight on your round, you would center it on there, excuse me, and I'm gonna center it on there with the art because I already know what line that's on. Sure. I think the one that I did on the square was the original and the one I did on the round, I moved it a little. So now sometimes you might have, so we didn't put dots all the way across because that is would be so many dots. It would be a ridiculous number. If you put your line like across here, oops, got to actually put it in the hole. You can also do centering so you can find the center of your circles. Very important. When you need it, you need it. So if you mark on there, OK, 
Okay, I can see that. Then you can see that, okay, that is, you know, half an inch. So you can then go in with your T-square. And now you have a place to tee it off of. And that's the important part. So I can take this. Now I know where straight is and I can make my line and I can go all the way across that way. So it will give you your straight, your straight lines. On a circle, there's nothing to tee off of. And so that is the problem with doing anything on a circle is you've got a tee and you can't. So then if you were doing a square, what you could do is you just take your lines, the little circle lines, and you just line those up with the edge of your board. And then you can make bands with this too. So I can just go in, mark those, mark those, use my straight edge, and I can make my mark. So if I wanted to do this layout right here, I could put my line going across, and then I would know exactly where I want to put my art, and it would be straight. Very important. Straight is important in circles. We're straightening out circles. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the bands. Okay, um, you guys, when you are thinking about this, the next time you pick up anything round, you're going to be mad if you don't have this. So just know if this is one of those things, it's like, nope, deal breaker. You got to have this. This is a tool that is just absolutely magic. Okay, so then if you wanted to do a band, so this is a 15 inch, say I wanted this half inch band, I can put my line right there. And then I can rotate it around and I can totally make a band all the way around just by rotating it and connecting my dots so that you can make bands within bands. And um, so if I wanted to, I could come over here, I could pick this up, move it over a little bit, mark my thing. The banding tool will do that for you. And we will have a whole other thing on banding tools because um, we did oval banding tools, round, round banding tools, is that it? I think that might yes. be it, yeah. Because square banding is easy. You've got a T-square, right? You can't T off of a round or an right. oval. It's ridiculous. Peg asked, is there a way to secure in the middle and turn it to make a circle? Yes, that is what um, that little centering thing is right there. So if I was centering, if I was centering it, what I would do is off of my board, I would put a piece of tape. So what I found, and I might even make it too deep, because I found that my um, pin didn't want, like, and I'm also on um, MDF, which is super hard. If I was on a pine board or something like that, I could totally stick into that wood mm -hmm. on MDF. MDF is so hard. Um, but I would put a double thickness, and I would poke my pin through first, um, through that double thickness, so that it helped give it a little bit of height to stick with. And then, yes, you can totally take that and make sure you don't have things laying everywhere like I do. And then you can take it and you can rotate it around. Yeah. So that is why that centering hole is there as well. And then you also have these um, diagonals right here, which are to help you with that like clock measure -y thing. So um, there's so many. There's so much in this. Um, it's actually unbelievably cool. I love it. I'm super proud of our team. And then we have also got, um, you've got these other lines over here that are marking um, so that you can see. Like, so if I made that band there, I can rotate this around and see where my band was made um, as well. Okay, so I'm trying to think if there's more. You can do your center of your board for your squares. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. That's, that's our tool. That is our tool. Um, we you have guys a question. give Carrie thumbs up for tracking <laughs> sorry. all of this stuff. She's just like trying no, to look sorry. down the list. I was no, I was um, I was adding uh, adding a tab to the top of the to the top of the website. Um, we did have a question about, and this is something that Patty and I've been talking about a while for a while. So mm. I'm going to bring it up today. Um, T.L. Farrell said, I would love to see videos about stenciling on glass with mm. frosting paint and spray paint as well as etching medium. Yes. So yes. it's coming. It's coming. We've yeah. been talking about it. It's a little bit, um, some of the mediums that we have that we can do that with um, are things that need ventilation. Um, they need warmer weather. Um, glass is non-porous, so it's super cold during the winter. And today, I, we started the day at 20 and... I think it's 30 now, so we're in a, a really cold little March yeah. nugget right here. So 
you spray paint this pencil on that mirror? Um, I didn't. Did I spray paint? In the corner. I can't remember if I spray painted or stippled. I think it probably was spray paint. I think it was. Yeah, so we do have um, the mirrored glass okay. um, project that is. Um, can you rotate that over? And that's the mercury glass. So yeah, that's coming. We and we have a pile, a mountain of um, Dollar Tree things that we want to show after the uh, placemat with the anyway tray was so successful. Um, that was amazing. Yeah. yeah, and we've been working real hard behind the scenes. You guys should be really proud of us. We actually have like the next four months of stuff planned, planned, yeah. and we have some really great stuff. Yeah, it's so exciting. And you know what we're doing right now is planning for the things that we'll do for fall and Christmas. You know, like it's mm -hmm. it's ridiculous how early you have to plan for all that stuff. So it is, um, I don't know, it's such a blessing to be able to do this for, for everybody. And we don't do this, like these things don't get to come to my house. They get to live on a shelf out here so that we can bring them back out and show you guys and they can be examples and stuff. Yeah. So we do this for you to show you what cool mm -hmm. stuff you can do with crafting. Yep. Hey. All right, be sure to tune in Saturday so you can be surprised by what video dun, dun, we release. Dun. <laughs> All right, guys, peace out. Bye.